network analysis problems construct the network for each of the projects whose activities and their precedence relationships are as given below first problem let us first write the given precedence relationship in a tabular form here we are given activities from a to h given that activities a d and e can start simultaneously that is these activities do not have predecessors a d and e do not have any predecessors next b comma c greater than a this means that activities b and c are the successors of activity a or we can say that a is the predecessor for the activities b and c so for the activities b and c a is the predecessor now g comma f greater than d and c implies that activities d and c are the predecessors for the activities f and g d and c are the predecessors for the activities f and g and h greater than ef implies that activities e and f are the predecessors for the activity h let's now write the start activities and end activities identify the start activities that is the activities with no predecessors so here a d and e are the start activities and they start with the same initial node and write the end activities that is the activities with no successors they are b g and h and these activities will end with the same terminal node let's now draw the network diagram activities a d and e are the initial activities so let's first draw these activities activity a then activity b and activity e activity b can start after the completion of a and we know that activity b is also one of the end activities let's now draw activity b
versus activity B. Next one is activity C. Activity C can start after the completion of activity A. So before drawing activity C, we have to check if C is a predecessor for any other activity. From the table, we observe that activity C along with activity D occurs as the predecessor for activities F and G. This means that only after completion of C and D, activities F and G would start. That is, activity C starts after activity A and ends where activity D ends. This is activity C. Next, activity F occurs after D and C, but it occurs along with E as the predecessor for activity H. Therefore, activity F should start after C and D and ends where activity E ends. So, we can draw activity F as this. Now, activity G also occurs after C and D and we know that G is one of the end event. Let's now draw activity G and it should end where activity B ends. So it starts after C and D and ends where B ends. So this is activity G. And finally we have activity H which occurs after E and F and it is also an end activity. Hence activity H should end where B and G ends. Let's now draw activity H. This is activity H. So now we have completed drawing the network diagram. Let's now number the events according to Fulkerson's rule. The initial event is to be numbered 1. Here the activities A, D and E are the initial activities. Therefore, let's number this node as 2, this as 3 and then this node as 4 and then the end event will be numbered 5. Remember that Numbering of events must be carried out from left to right on a sequential basis. And no two events can have the same number. Let's now proceed with the second problem.
Let's first write the start activities. Here, the start activities are A, B and C. A, B and C. And they start with the same initial node. And the end activities are J and K. And they end with the same terminal node. Now, draw the network diagram following the procedure used in the first problem and then number the events.